is the king king j back with another beginner guide this is with law i got sensei salam to teach me some stuff as well so he gave me some notes i'm gonna add some stuff to it as well but yeah let's get into it man so the key moves that law has like usually i would just say that there's two moves that people like to use the most it's usually dragon hammer which is forward one plus two because it's plus on block it's a really annoying move put my headset on too the forward hammer like forward one that's forward hammer Forward one plus two is a very annoying move down back three down four three and then slide right but he is providing me with a bunch of other moves so one 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 is a g cliff this is new because he ne law never had that before so we're gonna have standing and after that we're gonna put on standing block so let's get him to key charge so we can get the counter hit that's actually crazy that he has a g cliff so then on top of that he has one two two uh, one, two, two, one, plus two. One, two, two. So you can hit confirm that on the third hit. Down forward one. Replace with down forward four range. Let's go. It's got good range. Back two. Is for range you know if you want to close in the gap pretty cool the range is kind of crazy and then 431 is his new mid mid poke you know you could go in you could go into dss by pressing forward so that's the difference and then he has one plus two which is a long range tracking on both sides, counting it to launch up. Minus 30, but space properly safe. So look at this range. That's crazy. I got a little bit of law myself, you know. Nah, I'm joking. Anyways, so 443 and back one plus two are power crushes. But they're also heat engages as well. Well, back back, well, 443 is. But let me just show you what it is a block, which is absolutely insane. Only minus 13. Before it used to be higher than that. But this is only minus 13 now. And then we have on here back one plus two. Sorry, let's do that again. So that's that like more like Bruce Lee punch looks sick. So what is this on on block? Let's have a look. Minus 14. Wow. Yeah, that's a bit of a mad one. So Dragon have our pressure tool counter hit launcher. If you could, let me see if this could work. I'm, gonna try, I'm trying something out outside of the guide. One second. Ah, you can. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Law is pretty cool. So, what I was doing there was Charlene Kick says 4 3. 4 3 4. If you want to get the rest of it, and all you got to do is press back forward. That you don't have to do back forward forward anymore because they made it easier so on the notes it says back down back freeze a good pressure tool uh dss4 insane buffs low from tekken 7 cow tier launcher hatchet kick Let's see wow can you get no. What about against the wall? Let's have a look. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah, that went crazy. Yeah, this is just something I'm going to experiment with. I don't know yet. Whoa. 
That's crazy. Okay. So let's move away from the wall. I swear to experiment there. I did down for free. It's an, it's an annoying low poke. So while you're stuffing them with like all the other stuff, down for free is there. Down for free, uh, three plus four is the banana peel low. You got a new generic side step three, which is really plus on hit into DSS, which is his stance. So it manually just goes into DSS. A dead size, uh, generic glow, which is down three plus four. Which is pretty sick. Slide now guarantees one plus two for more damage and a flip over. You have to be, you have to hold back until Law turns around after the slide. I might not even get to do this, you know. I'm never going to lie, because I... Hold on, let me try. I'll try one more time. But I see people do it. Yeah, I've seen people do it, but... Yeah, I'm not getting it. But you have to press back. There we go, there we go. So, yeah. And then the three main extension, the three main DSS options are forward two. Um, whoops. Forward two and extensions from count for counting confirm also tracks. Yeah, so this is more. This is he gave me notes that are on the yeah. This is that's too much. That's too complicated. I'm not even gonna do that. So yeah, so go could go into crouch from DSS. Which added mind game. So like you know, if you do while static free, I could do the slide. Like that, right? So all I gotta do is input down forward when I crouch from this. Instead of doing the slide input, which is down forward, down, down forward. All you gotta do is hold down forward and you're good to go, which is crazy. Like it's so good. <laughs> like, I think he's such a fun character. So then now, also, I also think that the character having flip kicks that are not launched anymore also helps him. So his double flip kick is only minus 13. The one by itself, the minus 17. So it's a bit of a mind game. You'll probably try to punch the first one and they get launched. So yeah. Just be careful of that. His tornado attacks, the ones that I would say are go-tos. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. The ones that are go-tos. Or should I, we start off with launches, then we to do tornadoes. So tornado uh, launches, down for two, up forward four, up forward, up forward hold four, and then I would say down two three is a launcher as well, but that's also a tornado attack. So we could do this. Upward four three. And then one plus two as well. Those are your go-tos. Or do back two one. So those are your tornado attacks, right? So now we're gonna get into the heat engages. So with Lord's Heat Engages, I don't remember all of them, and it's, it's not being listed here, but I'll show you from the move list. I know he's got the G Cliff. So the G Cliff is 1 1 1. He's got back 1 2 1. So that's a count. You fish for counter hit for that, but you ain't gonna really need to know that for now. Up forward 3. Forward forward 3. And then the Dragon Charge uh, forward 1. Dragon Charge for free. Okay, so he does have a few. Okay. So, with... Uh, let me just show you something as well. There's something that I saw. So, this... Him doing the one Dragon Fist is Chip. So, this is from DSS. The one... Chip. So, 
It's actually crazy. But this is too afraid. And then you can do forward. So when you do the forward, I'll show you. That's minus nine. Like what? So they really want you to use this. So this one, they're both they're both safe. <laughs> They're both safe. So yeah. Let me get out of this. That. Also as well, if you are from the old Tekken, Magic Fours, you can't really get anything unless you do 4-3-4, four, four, right? Or you could do 4-3, one plus two. So that would be your go-to. Into something else. I don't know what you'll do. But usually as well, like, if you want to do, like, a round ender, you could do 3 plus 4, 4. 3 plus 4, 4. Not, not even as a round ender, as a combo ender, sorry. Yeah, 3 plus 4 will be your, your safe bet. So, yeah, in terms of heat, with law, law can parry uh, with dragon charge. So when he's in dragon charge, he does what? Uh, double plus two, you can do that. And it parries, he brings out his nunchuckers. And this launches straight away. So, yeah. And this allows you to power up version of nunchuck moves. So one plus two, dragon charge, black, uh, dragon part, dragon charge, one plus two, a time of attack, which is parry, uh, back uh, two plus four. So also on top of that as well, he has his heat smash. You could do a combo like that as well. But it gets heavily scaled. Okay, so then now... The last thing for me to talk about is his throws. So he has... He has a few throws. So... Dragon parry. Is back 2 plus 4. His normal parry is back uh, 1 plus 3. Which is... Leaves you plus... And you could press forward to go with the dragon charge. Uh, at the start, so yeah. The face, the face lift is through Dragon Charge up forward one plus two, four four one uh, four four three plus four is the D lift, which I'll show you something afterwards. Uh, the the headlock punch is up forward one plus two, and then the headlock drop is up forward one plus two. But while you're doing the headlock, you got to press one two one plus two pretty quickly, and then you've got to run up. I'm, I'm a dragon, which is two forward two plus three, and then that's it really. So, with 4 4, you could do this. So, you could do. So, you used to be able to do 4, uh, 4. Yep. Still got a range. So, you could probably do. I'm not really good at doing the uh, 4. There we go. Or you could probably do something else, but you can continue on the throw. That is known as a throw launcher. So you can do stuff to combo. And last but not least, I wanted to talk about lore overall in terms of the DSS. I would love to know what they call DSS in the move list because I know they probably changed the name of the move. But DSS is basically his stance that you press back, forward, forward. But in this game, they've made it so much easier. So as you see when you saw the blue spark that means i've done it the right way as it or the old school way should i say but in this game this game i guess i think they call it the dss they call it just dragon charge now i think dragon charge is the new name because i assume that that's what you get from let me see this okay so yeah okay 
Okay. So yeah, like I was saying, um, yeah, so you press back, forward, forward within certain moves. So you, like if I do one, two, back, forward, forward. Uh, one, two, can I do it? No? Four, four, three, you could do. It. So yeah, like you used to be able to do it through one, uh, one, two, but it doesn't seem like you can. You could do it through back one, two. Yeah, so back one, two and four, three. And then if I don't want to upward, no, they, so they change it from some stuff. Some stuff have been changed. Um, yeah, can you do it? Yeah, you can't do it for flip kicker either no more. So yeah, they've, they've changed a few things. And then obviously while static free just manually go, it well, automatically goes into it. So yeah, they changed law quite a bit from Tekken 7. Like some of the stuff that did work before kind of changed around. Hit by the G clips is crazy, but then obviously slide as well, down forward, down, down forward is a bit of a hard thing. But they made it easier for like you going into like dragon stance and then pressing down forward. It just makes it easier. Because then now you can slide. Easy. Because once you press that down forward, all you need to press it is free and you're good to go. So yeah, I hopefully this helped you that out. It's a quick beginner's guide. Again, obviously the more complicated guys will be coming out later on, but again, I just wanna just put you lot on to just get yourself involved, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, other than that, it's been your boy King J. Remember to subscribe, leave a comment for, you know, engagement and all of that good stuff. And yeah, we'll be on to the next video. Take it easy, everyone. Peace.